how to change your Minecraft skin. Let's go ahead and do it, but first you're going to need a Minecraft skin. In the description down below, there's a link to here. This is the skin index where you can search for millions of different Minecraft skins. For example, if we search for a knight skin here, we can see tons of different ones. We're going to go ahead and just go with uh, this one because it looks pretty cool. Once you've clicked on it, you can go ahead and click download on the right hand side. It may open an ad right like so, so make sure to close out of that. Then click the download button again and it will begin downloading. Any skin file you download should be a .png file. One more thing to note, you can make your own skin. And there's a guide in the description down below on how to do exactly that. It goes through everything you need to know to make your own skin. There's even an in-depth video up here that goes over it as well. So if you want to make your own Minecraft skin, this is the way that you can do it. You can even take a skin like this one we downloaded and customize it using this guide. Nevertheless, once you've got your skin downloaded, we do need to know where it's at. And generally, it's going to be in your downloads folder. So if we open up our file explorer here, we can go into downloads and here is the file. I'm going to move this to our desktop. It's not required but I just like to move it there that way I know where it's at so I can select it in the next step. The next step has us going in here the Minecraft launcher where once we're in the Minecraft launcher we want to click skins up here at the top. Then we want to come and click new skin here. I'm going to name this the uh, knight skin because that's what it is. You can select your player model wide or slim. We're going to go with a wide player model here and then click browse. This is why it's important. You need to navigate to where your skins are. So if we go to desktop here we can click on this skin on our desktop and it will automatically assign to the player and you can even switch between the models see which one you like after you've added the skin now with that being said I would recommend backing up any skins you really really like like I did in that separate skins folder because while when we select our cape here if you have one and then click save at the bottom all of your skins are saved in here sometimes they will disappear I've seen it before so it's important to have if you love a skin a backup of it somewhere on your computer that doesn't have to be on your desktop and that's just really cool even though this is on our desktop we can now delete it and it will stay in the Minecraft launcher. How do we use this skin? Well, after we click the save button down here on the skin, we can hover over it and click use. It will then activate and you'll be able to see your current skin right here. Now, if we go ahead and jump into Minecraft, we can join a simple game hosting server who is actually our company and the sponsor of this video. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. At simple game hosting, you can use the add mods, plugins and mod packs to your server. And if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support to help you out. So stop struggling to host a server and host it the simple way. At Simple Game Hosting, first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Now, as I mentioned here, we're going to be joining a Simple Game Hosting server in order to do this and see our skin. And once you're in a server or even in a single player world, you just hit F5 on your keyboard or FN and 5 on your keyboard to swing your camera around and you can see the front of your skin or FN and 5 again to see the back of your skin and go third person. You can uh, just spam that if you want to get a preview of what your skin looks like. And obviously you can see your hand depending on your FOV in the bottom right there. Now, we can easily change skins as well if we go back into the Minecraft launcher. Like I said, any skin that you save in the launcher will stay there unless you delete it or switch computers and things like that. And that's why I say it's important to back these up if you do love a skin and want to keep it. But nevertheless, go into skins here and we can switch to my skin right like so. Click use. It selects it. We can see that is the skin that I've always used. And if we jump back into Minecraft, we can see that the skin has in fact changed. So that's how to change your Minecraft skin in 1.20.4. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.